world, this is Nick Jackson, and this is your One Word Wednesday, and I'm so excited to be back in person. Let's go. Hello world, welcome to the One Word Wednesday. I'm so excited to have our special guest. You were actually the first person to be interviewed on this show. Y'all, please, this is not just like a, a fun person, a beautiful light, like this is one of my best friends. Please introduce yourself to the world. Hello world, my name is Alyssa. I have been around for man, like five, six years. Long like time. literally, I literally introduced this man to everyone as my brother. Like this is like, I have I have three biological brothers and then I always introduce him as like my fourth. Like right, every right. single time. Um, but yeah, I'm Alyssa. I've been around with Speak Love for about five, six years. Absolutely love it, love my fam and love hanging out with you guys. Yo, speaking of that, today we're talking about kindness. So listen, when you hear the word kindness, what comes to your mind? Okay, so this is such an interesting thing because people would talk to me about this frequently, mm. especially with Austin, who used Come to be on. a part of our team. Yeah. And still is a part of our team. Still is a part of our team. Yes. Passed but away he, not too long ago. Not, yes, in January. And so people would come and like on hard days when we would still be, we both worked at Starbucks, he was my best friend. On hard days, people would come up and they'd be like, I just don't understand. Like, why are you always kind? Like, I remember them saying this to Austin, like you were going through dialysis, like you've been diagnosed with a terminal disease. Mm. Like, I don't understand. Like, why on your hard days, why are you seeing? and joking and loving on everyone and every single time Austin would always talk about how kindness was not just a feeling like this is not something that we do like we don't we don't be kind because we're feeling kind like this is a part of our character like this is who I am like I have an arm this is a part of me I have kindness this is a part of me this is a part of who I am this is a part of my foundation this is a part of my character mm -hmm. and so when I hear kindness I think a lot about like how so often we just base our kindness off of like well what are you going to give me like if I'm kind to you, what are you gonna give to me in return? Right, 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 but this right. is not always like a given exchange. Like kindness is just a part of who you are. Like it's just a part of your character. But what are your thoughts? Yo, it's so funny, right? So she hit her arm, like, like I have arm right now. She just got a tattoo. You feel uh, what I'm saying? Well, and on, I was show. like, I was like, look, I can't stand <laughs> it. Like I gotta be kind in this situation. You were not I kind until I was grounded. You are so grounded, but I care about your feelings. But I feel like somebody messed up. Your, your body. I don't That's know okay. what he was That's thinking. Okay. You had a nice arm. Now it's messed up. <laughs> but I'm gonna be kind, right? So, so the question that I have to think about is: Is kindness lying? Mm -hmm. So, like, am I lying when I'm when I'm when I'm when I'm being kind, or like, is kindness like I'm actually being truthful and I'm actually negating all the darkness mm -hmm. and I'm, all, I'm I'm shining a light on mm -hmm. what's true. So I guess I'm gonna put this question back on you. So like when someone comes up to you in, in, in their kind, is, is this a situation where they're trying to manipulate you, right? To act a certain way or do a certain thing, or is this an honest uh, uh, overflow of their being? I think it's meant to be an honest overflow of your being. Mm. But now is it? No. I think there's abuse of so much stuff. I think there's abuse of manipulation in so many right, things. But right. I think that this is something that is supposed to be an overflow of who you truly are. Mm. And not a thing where it's like if I give you a little Talk bit of this, if I, give, if I give you a little bit of this, mm. then maybe you're gonna give me a little bit of this in return. Come on. I mean I, ladies have talked so often about like men being kind to them mm. in return for something else. Or being kind to somebody in return of you coming at me and giving me exactly what it is that I want to get from you. I think that this is an abuse and a manipulation of something that was created for the good to shine light on the truth. Mm, I know for me, I I try to walk in with kindness. Now, so so we're in the love lab, right? And what a lot of you guys don't know is a lot of these things that I, I have on my wall, these things did not work out. Right, I keep them up there, right? To remember, like sometimes things are things are gonna fail, but I have to be kind to myself. Like I have to be able to to recognize that not every three pointer that I shoot is going to make it, but I'm gonna keep shooting because I believe that I'm a good shooter. I do the same thing when I meet people on the street. See, I can come at them and be like, uh, I, I see all these bad things about you, but then I can also identify you as a person that has the ability to, ability to be kind. And since you have that ability, I'm going to treat you as such. But can we t can we talk about being kind to yourself when others are not kind to you? Because this is a whole other thing. Like so often we talk about being kind to other people, right? right. But a lot of time I feel like what we struggle with is maybe 
we're in a situation where we don't want to be kind to ourselves. Mm. And I know for me, the past few days, I've been struggling with a situation where just like a hand, maybe like one person or a handful of people are not necessarily kind, mm. right? Like not necessarily feeling kind. And I'm guilty of that too. Right. But like in those situations where maybe other people aren't kind to you or your circumstances aren't kind to you or your situation is not kind to you, how are you being kind to yourself? Mm. Not just how are you being kind to other people? Because here's the thing. I can be kind to you all day long. Right. I can be kind to Jay all day I, I can be kind to the people around me, but at the end of the day, how am I inflicting pain on myself because I'm upset that somebody else has it? Like, you hear what I'm saying? But, like, but, but let's let's be real. What does it look like to be kind to yourself? Like, I'm I was taught to to hate the parts of me that aren't show ready, that aren't mm -hmm. perfect, mm -hmm. to mold those into things that are more readily available or that are more socially acceptable by other people. I was not taught like, Hey, uh, uh, be kind to yourself. Right. If you lose, you lost, right. do better to win. Right. right? Mm -hmm. So like, how do you actually find that? What, where in your heart is kindness towards yourself? It's so interesting. So step up, yeah, step so up, get my, in there. So I've been going to therapy, right? I've been going mm -hmm. to counseling. And something that my counselor has been talking to me about is sometimes you have to kind of like pull yourself out and objectively look at your life or look at your situation or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then you have to speak to the emotion or you right. have to speak to yourself as if you're in second person. And so we were talking about how sometimes speaking to yourself in second person is actually really healthy. Because instead of you saying, I am depression. I am failure. I am a mess up. You're able to objectively pull apart and then you're able to talk to yourself in second person and separate yourself from these emotions and then be your biggest cheerleader. Mm. And so sometimes I think being kind to yourself looks like being able to talk to yourself in second person because what do you need? Like what does Nick Jackson need in this minute? Not how are you feeling about yourself? Right. How you feel about yourself and how you need to treat yourself are two completely different things. Mm. And so my therapist has been talking to me a lot about that and then also also when like you're feeling an emotion like I feel depression I feel um, anxiety I feel whatever not associating that as like this is who I am but being able to pull that apart and be like okay this is what depression is telling me and then this is who I truly am that's kindness to yourself okay this is what anxiety is telling me right, right? but mm -hmm. I am not anxiety anxiety and Alyssa are two separate entities mm -hmm. and sometimes they come together and they have a little communion action and it's not always the best but like right. anxiety and Alyssa and Nicole are two completely separate entities like this is not a thing where we are joined together as as the same person and I, I gotta tell you just just to add on to that there's so many times in my life where I I could have been kind to myself I like I like I had the opportunity to be kind to myself and I chose not to mm -hmm. like I I know when, when I was when I was doing church services it was how many people were coming to your event mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and the more people that came to your event the better you're doing how what do you how much are you giving right mm -hmm. and, and, and all of these are comparisons mm -hmm. right but when I enjoy what I have it's natural it's easier for me to be kind mm -hmm. now my problem is though what happens when you are failing to recognize where you need to succeed like there's things in your life that are wrong you're being quote-unquote kind to yourself but you know that you could be doing better but you're choosing Choosing not to and you're saying that you're being kind but really you're just negating responsibility to do what's right what, what do you say to that I, okay so seriously sometimes I literally have to parent myself like I'm not even joking like I'm not even joking like there have been so many times where I've been like my desire to take care of a list is a negative 10,000 mm -hmm. my desire to take care of the things that the list needs to take care of is a negative 10,000 and there have been times that I've had to be like hold up I need to step up I need to be my biggest cheerleader and self-care and what feels good are not always the same thing right like self-care right. and getting like your people talk about this like get your nails done you do you you go have fun blah 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 nobody ever tells me to get my nails <laughs> well, done right 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 right, right. <laughs> yes yes but like, yeah. but, but the thing is, is that like sometimes taking care of yourself is not just the mm. stuff that feels good. It's not just the stuff where you're like, yeah, I feel good. Like I'm numbing out, but like, how am I actually taking care of my things that I have to, like, I have to step up to the plate in, yeah. you know? And I got to tell you, sometimes I don't want to be kind to myself. I want to be hard on myself mm -hmm. because that's what I feel like love feels like. Mm -hmm. So I feel like in my, in my own personal conversation with myself, I'm not, I'm not necessarily listening to me, I'm listening to everyone else, everyone else and I'm allowing everyone else to dictate how I feel about me. So this is this is what I challenge you all to do right now. Uh, don't just be kind 
to yourself. I think that 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 is that is that is a, a low bar. Mm -hmm. I, I challenge you to listen to yourself, hear what you're saying about yourself, and then add kindness on, right? And what you were saying is is, is great. When you talked about going to a counselor, mm -hmm. so many of us we, we we refuse to be counseled. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So listen to yourself and, and, and see like like I may need some help right now. Mm -hmm. And then in that place, I challenge you to allow yourself to be kind to you and take care of yourself. You got 15 more seconds. What's one more thing you want to tell them about this? Be your biggest cheerleader. Like, like literally be your biggest cheerleader. Like literally, like, so, like literally uh, the best thing that Austin ever taught me was how to love yourself. Mm -hmm. And he was a person that struggled with that more than anybody else that I've ever met. And so I say, I would say that the biggest thing is to show up for yourself even on the days when it's hard to show up. Wow. So that's it. Show up for yourself, be kind to yourself, and have a great day. This is Nick Jackson and Alyssa Nichols. One love. Hello world, thank you so much for being involved in our, in our One Word Wednesday show. I am so glad you're here. If you want to join our team, we'd love to have you. Links will follow. Peace.